Hi class, in this lecture what I want to do is I want to do a follow-up video showing you how to work some of the problems we just did using your graphing calculator and your graphing calculator can make it very easy. Um, so going through, I'm going to start back with um, the LeBron James example right here, okay? So we know, you know, LeBron James uh, shoots 10 free throws. What's the probability he makes exactly eight of them when he um, uh, makes 80% of his free throws? So I want to just start here. Whenever you see this exactly, probability of exactly something happening, you're going to go to your calculator. And it doesn't matter if you have the TI-84 or the TI-83. It's going to be the same options, okay? You see this option called DISTR, DISTR. You're going to go to it, so second function, DISTR, and you're going to scroll down until you see this option called Binome PDF. You're going to hit enter. So over here, it's going to be a little different. You're going to see DISTR, and you're going to scroll down to Binome PDF. And you notice what it's going to say is trials, P, and X values. So whenever you have an exactly probability, you can use this function in your calculator, the binome PDF. And what you need to put in, if you look back here at the calculator, is the trials, P, and then X. So that's just N, then P, then X. So going back to the LeBron James example, okay, trials is 10. P is 0 0.8 and X is 8. So using this calculator, 10 trials, probability of success is 0 0.80, and we want X successes. And notice how it puts this, binome PDF 10 comma 0 0.80 comma 8. So if you have the TI-83, unfortunately what you have to do is you have to manually put it in. You have to go 10, then you have to press comma, you have to press 0 0.80, comma, and then eight, and then close the parentheses. So if you have the TI-83, unfortunately, you have to remember that it goes trials, P, X, so N, P, X. Now watch what happens when I hit enter, 0 0.3, 0 0.02 when we round it, zero, same thing. Look, 0 0.032 when we round it, that was what we got when we did it by hand. So your calculator does it very, very quickly. So going back here, all right, with this problem here, what's the probability that exactly 5 out of 20 when the probability of success is 0 0.30? So second function, D-I-S-T-E-R. You're going to go down to binome PDF. Here the trials were 20. Probability of success is 0 0.35 and we want it exactly five. And then just remember, if you have this, unfortunately, what you have to do is you have to type it in. So it was 20 comma 0 0.35 comma five. 0.1272, when we round it, you get the same thing over here, 0 0.1272 right here. The great thing about your calculator is it also does these um, less than or equal to. So whenever you see this less, whenever you have a probability of less than or equal to, all right, you're going to actually use on your calculator when we hit second function dist, you see the next option is binome CDF. So whenever you have a less than or equal to here, You're going to use the binome CDF, and it's the same options, NPX. So actually, let me go here. So it's a probability of X. Remember, I said strictly less than 4 is the same thing as X is less than or equal to 3. So binome CDF. Number of trials were 20. Probability of success is 0 0.35. And now I want 3. Look, 0 0.0444 when we round it. 
and it's the same thing over here second function dist go down to binome cdf you have to go 20 comma 0 0.35 comma 3 you get the same thing all right so let's do a full example uh, here okay so according to the Department of Education, 75% of college students enjoy taking statistics. Okay, if 10 college students um, are selected at random, okay, so right off the bat, look at this. We know we're going to select 10, and we know the probability that they enjoy taking statistics is 0 0.75. Right, so what is the probability exactly 8 of the 10 will enjoy taking statistics? Well, so it's an exactly... So it's the probability that the number of successes is 8. So whenever it's exactly, it's a binome PDF. So remember, you go n, which is 10, p, the probability that they do enjoy taking statistics is 0 0.75. I think that's low. And then next, x is 8. So second function, D-I-S-T-E-R. Binome PDF, we have 10, 0 0.75, and we want exactly eight of the 10. So you can do it like this, right? You just have to plug it in that way over here, but we'll just go with this to I-84 from here on out. And you can see it's 0 0.2816 when I round it. All right, so what is the probability that less than 8? So probability that it's less than 8. Well, less than 8 is the same thing that is x is less than or equal to 7. So less than or equal to 7, this is going to be the binome CDF. So again, it's going to be 10, 0 0.75, now comma 7. So it's n, p, and then the x from right there. So let's grab the binome CDF here. Second function, dist. Binome CDF. Well, 10, 0 0.75, 7. Well, that's 0 0.4744. So what is the, now the last question, what is the probability that eight or more? Well, eight or more looks like this, greater than or equal to. So whenever you see a greater than or equal to, you're gonna have to use the complement. Well, the complement of eight or more is less than eight, which is what we just found above, which is 0 0.5256, I believe. Okay, class, I, uh, I hope that helped uh, seeing your calculator here. If you're going to use this on your calculator, just on, on a homework assignment, just type this in, the, you know, the commands you used, binome PDF, and then the commands you put in, or the binome CDF. All right, class, thanks.